Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best DSLR camera. Starting at number 5. OM System OM1. Not everyone needs a full frame camera, and like the Fujifilm X-T4, the OM System OM1 harnesses the benefits of its smaller sensor to create a compelling alternative for photographers who prioritize size, versatility, and a fun handheld experience. Thanks to its new stacked Micro Four Thirds sensor, which is the first of its kind, and a speedy TruePix X processor, the OM1 performed admirably in most our tests. Quite simply, it's the one of the most enjoyable cameras you can buy. We found that the OM1 performed well up to ISO 1600 and had slightly less aggressive noise reduction than its Olympus-made predecessors. Its computational modes are also the best you'll find outside a smartphone, with the likes of high residential shot, live North Dakota and in-camera focus stacking going some way to compensating for its smaller sensor. On the downside, its autofocus tracking isn't quite up to the level of Canon or Sony, and the controls can be a little fiddly. That 20MP resolution also isn't huge for a camera of this price. But if you can overlook those drawbacks, then the OM-1, and its huge range of micro four-thirds lenses, will make a fine companion. Coming at number 4. Fujifilm X-T5. If you're in the market for a hybrid all-rounder, you should look elsewhere. While the Fujifilm X-T5 can record lovely 6.2K footage, photography is its focus and that's where it excels. Deploying the same 40.2 MP APS-C sensor and X processor 5 as the Fujifilm X-H2, it delivers images of near-identical quality. If you're upgrading from an older X-T model, you'll also notice the benefits of in-body image stabilization, superior battery life and Fujifilm's latest subject detection autofocus, even if the latter can't compete with Sony and Canon's latest efforts. Form factor also sets the X-T5 apart. We found its reduced dimensions reminiscent of the X-T1, making it a small, lightweight tool that's perfect for everyday shooting. Its controls are also photog-friendly, with retro dials for ISO, shutter speed and exposure plus a three-way tilting touchscreen that works better than a very angle for framing stills. Yes, the APS-C sensor limits low-light performance, while a modest buffer isn't ideal for action snappers. But its marriage of performance and convenient form makes the X-T5 our favorite mirrorless camera for hobbyists. At number 3. Canon EOS R10. It isn't the cheapest camera for beginners, but we think the Canon EOS R10 is the now best option for those starting their photographic journey. Spiritual successor to Canon's popular mid-range DSLRs, the EOS R10 has two standout skills, impressive, subject tracking autofocus and speedy 15 frames per second burst shooting, which was previously unheard of at this price. Both of those combine nicely to make the EOS R10 a versatile little camera for shooting all kinds of subjects, from portraits to speeding pets and kids. During our autofocus testing, which we conducted on cats, deer, and a speedy cockapoodle, the R10 found and tracked the subject's eyes very well, with the 15 frames per second burst speeds producing a decent hit rate. While it isn't a compact camera, the EOS R10 is very lightweight at 429G and has a deep grip that makes it feel well balanced in the hand with all kinds of lenses. Unfortunately, the EOS R10 doesn't yet have many native lenses, just two at the time of writing, and lacks in-body image stabilization. But if you're happy to buy some of the many full-frame RF lenses that work well with the camera, or adapt old ones using an EF EOS R adapter, then it's a versatile little sidekick that's ideal for fledgling snappers. Number 2 of my list Canon EOS R5 if you see the Canon EOS R5 as a pro stills model with some impressive video features, then it's one of the best cameras the photography giant has ever made. There's no doubt it has video limitations compared to a rival like the Sony A7S III, particularly for shooting longer clips. But after our review, we found it great for anyone looking to shoot mind-blowing stills in almost any situation, whether that's wildlife or studio work. 
It's a hugely impressive achievement. Particularly worthy of mention is the EOS R5's autofocus, which we found offers very accurate and reliable subject detection and tracking, particularly when it comes to people or animals. You also get a superb 5.76 million pixel EVF, a body design that will be comfortably familiar to those coming from DSLRs, and the ability to shoot bursts at 12 frames per second with the mechanical shutter, or 20 frames per second with the electronic equivalent. The video performance, while limited to relatively short bursts, remains superior to the likes of the Nikon Z7 and Sony A9 II II. With a growing collection of, albeit pricey, RF lenses, the Canon EOS R5 is the next-gen mirrorless camera that pro photographers have been waiting for. And number 1. Sony A7 IV. Following Sony's fantastic A7 III was never going to be easy, but the A7 IV is a worthy successor. Equipped with a new 33MP sensor that's solid for both stills and video, it's a compelling mirrorless option for hybrid shooters. In our review, we called it a brilliant blend of photographic power and video versatility. A price hike does mean it's no longer an entry-level full-frame camera like its forebear, but a Bion's XR processor powers solid performance that broadly justifies the extra expenditure. The A7 IV also benefits from Sony's class-leading autofocus skills, plus upgrades like 10-bit video support and a seemingly endless buffer depth with a CF Express card. Our tests found this buffer to be more generous than most photographers will need, with image quality leaning more towards resolution than low-light performance. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.